Un momento. Shut that door. Hello, welcome to an episode, a new episode of Scott D. TV, where I'm going to inform you about the future of this channel. We got this called Scotty TV. I don't know how often I do things, but I want to do more. I got Ace and Dave, we're going to talk. So, topics I want to go over is there's a new trailer for a movie that has to do with my childhood and my brother's childhood as well. And then, so I'm going to talk about that. And then, you know, something's coming in July, I'm going to talk about that. And then we're going to have a little talk about the Pick 10 wild card and how I'm going to change that into a new series for a new day. So here we go. So first and foremost, this morning, they released a trailer. Paramount released a trailer for the Cover the Big Red Dog movie. Now, there was a teaser months ago about this that I looked interesting. I was like, okay. All right. And then they released the full trailer this morning and... Nah. Nope. They ruined it. They ruined it because they couldn't just... Okay. Why can't you just take the source material... Transfer that on to the big screen. I understand, oh, but you can't plagiarize. You don't have to. You just have to take enough of the source material to say this is Clifford Big Red Dog, the books you remember watch, remember reading, the TV show you remember watching, translated onto the big screen for you to watch. But they've ruined it. Okay. A po couple points here as to why they ruined it. One, Emily Elizabeth, not blonde, and she wears a French braid. What? She's blonde, and she has a little short bob thing. I imagine that they should have done this back in the early 2000s when Clipper was really popular because of the TV show that did an animated version. They should have done a live-action version back then, like 2005, with Dakota Fanning. As annoying as she was back then, she would have been perfect for this. You got this actress, I don't know where she's from. She seems alright, but she's not blonde. She's a dark redhead brunette. She looks like she's a redhead. Sort of, like a dark red type thing. Uh, and she's got her hair in a French braid. That's one problem. Second problem. Uh, I guess she can't have a kids movie without killing off the parents because she lives with her uncle. Her parents are not mentioned in the trailer, and I'm assuming they're dead, because <laughs> that's a kid's movie, right? Parents have to be dead. Why does she live with her uncle? The books, as well as the TV series, establish she had both of her parents. They lived in a city. Clifford got big because of the love she gave to him. That's We're going to talk about that, too. And, uh... Uh, then they moved to an island because he was so big. Now, and that's in the movies, but I can't judge that last part. Maybe it does end with him going to an island. But she doesn't live with her parents. They're supposedly dead, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing. She lives with her uncle Casey, who was not a character in any other media I've seen in. And apparently, Clifford is magic. Because we were presented in the books and in the TV series as well, I think, that he grows bigger over time. Like, it takes months for him to grow. Well, a dog will grow in, like, a regular size in just a few months. Like, by a year, they're regular size, like, this this tall, up to here, right? We're, we're presented in the books and the TV series that by that time, he's gone huge and they have to move. Here, it's overnight. They show that it was done overnight, and they do show, like, oh, he, he she buys her, loves her, she, he, she loves him so much, and overnight, he grows. Now, as soon as she grows big, according to the books and the TV show, they move right away to the island, away from civilization. But because this is a kid's movie, and got to be wacky, hijinks, that's what the whole movie's going to be, is 
a big dog in the city and hijinks and no. And another point, which apparently is a moot point because apparently he's going to, but he did. Clipper doesn't talk. At least in this trailer. I didn't hear him talk. Apparently it's going to be voiced by David Allen Greer. Not a bad choice, although I would have gotten one of the Ritter guys. One of John Ritter's sons to do it, because... Specifically Tyler Ritter, because he sounds just like his dad. And I think, to pay tribute to John Ritter, who was legend who legendarily voiced the character on the cartoon, I would have tried to get Tyler Ritter to voice the character. Or at least maybe Jason Ritter. One of the Ritters to do it, but David Allen Greer's not bad. I like David Allen Greer, you know. And to quote David Allen Greer, one of his favorite characters... From In Living Color, as far as this trailer goes, hated it. I can't get behind this trailer, I just can't. To me, they ruined it. There are certain things you could have done to make, just take the books and put them on the screen. That's all you have to do. You could present an original story, right? As long as you have the certain plot elements that make it a Clifford the Big Red Dog movie. Clifford the Big Red Dog, both of her parents, which were very obviously in the books and the TV series, the island, which you could also have them move down at the end of the movie. It, that's, you know, if that happens, it happens. I won't watch it, but you know. Moving on. Moving on from that, we now got the announcement. So I did a video last night. Uh, for something's coming July 1st, and it is uh, Kai July. I'm just gonna give a rundown of the movies we'll be looking at. Um, hold on. I think I wrote some of these down, but I don't know how much I wrote down. So we have. Alright, so. Once I have access to to do, which I don't wanna fill a whole month, but I'll scatter them. Across the month, we have the Godzilla, the King of Monsters, uh, from 1954, and then I'll be moving on to like Mothra and King Kong versus Godzilla, and then there's Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla in 1974, Destroy All Monsters in 1968, then uh, Silver versus Mega Godzilla. We had these that span the Heisei and Millennium movies, and then I have 98 Godzilla. And all of the legendary movies and, and Shin Godzilla. But, uh, yeah, that's what I have to go over for Kai July. And I will be getting that first review out on uh, Thursday the 1st, so be looking for that. Okay, last thing of business here. And it's about... Pick ten, the Pick 10 uh, Wild Card. I haven't done it for a while. In fact, my next movie I was supposed to review for that was The Happening, and I have no idea what that is. But it doesn't matter because I'm not doing it. Um, I've thought about this for a while. You know, I put it off, and I put it off because I don't want to watch The Happening because that movie is terrible. <laughs> and also, uh, due to me putting it off, a couple of the movies I had... I had to keep on replacing them because I had to get the movies. Uh, movies that were on Tubi. I had to keep replacing those with other movies. Because I had to review them sooner. And then eventually the ones that I had on there are just gone. And I had two more Tubi ones left to do. Were in there and I just... They're not on there anymore. So... I've decided that officially... Uh... Pick ten uh, to all your to all you all that fans out there, new and old, whatever you may watch. Pick as in regards. Okay, so pick ten wild card is officially canceled. Yeah, it's done. I can't do any more. However, in its place will be a new weekly TV show that I'm going to do on Wednesdays that I am calling. Wild Card Wednesdays. What it is, I'm going to take the movies that are left in here. Minus the ones that are for 2B. Hold on. Uh, that'd be Frequency. And I think Hard Target was the other one. Take Frequency out. 
Um, no, no. Fire in the sky. Where is the hard target? <laughs> That's the only other one that I have to do. The rest of these are. There it is. All right. So those are both out. I can't do them anymore anyway. And what I'm going to do right now, right here, for your fulfillment, and I'm going to pick the first review for Wild Card Wednesday, which is going to premiere tomorrow, I hope. And I'm going to start watching the movies as I get done here. i got to hop in the shower, too, so maybe... I don't know. We'll see. If there's one I've seen before, I could put it on and just... All right, so now shaking. So you see I'm not cheating. There, okay. What do we have? Event Horizon. That's on Voodoo, which means I have to wait to watch it. Because uh, if I'm uploading a video, I'm gonna upload this video. So if I'm uploading a video, Voodoo won't work. It'll just say, because it, this takes up some Wi-Fi, some bandwidth, so it'll just keep spinning and saying loading, loading, loading. So I have to wait. Uh, but I never seen Event Horizon. I hear it's a clusterfuck because they had a better version of it, I guess. But we'll see. Uh, how about on my Voodoo? Um, I own it on my Voodoo. The only one of the Voodoo ones I didn't own was uh, the... What was it? The gate. That was the only one I didn't own, and I already got that one. So everything else I have in here I own. So there it is. Um, oh, there you go. Another episode of Scotty TV. Uh oh, excuse me. And you'll still get Marvel Mondays to be Tuesdays. As it pertains to Kaiju Live, you're still going to get um, Marble Mondays, To Be Tuesdays, and Wild Card Wednesdays, and, uh, and Franchise Fridays, along with these. I have this weekend off, and I have an extended four-day weekend, so I'm going to just binge watch these, record them, set them to be released throughout the month as it goes through. Like, I mean, you'll have it be one a day. I'm going to try to do... They'll be released each day. Like, I'll, I'll record one on Friday. That'll be for Friday. Or, yeah, I'll record one for Thursday. That, that'll that be Thursdays. One for Friday. And then just kind of keep recording. And for the next, you know, day, 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 day. Uh, I may take breaks because I only have 21 movies I can watch. And 21, hold on. This is thir 13... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, plus these other ones, 22, 23, 24, 24 in total. This won't fit the whole month, but it'll get most of it, because there's 31, and I don't have a way to watch 31, because I looked, there's a Godzilla zone on my Roku, and so show me all the ones that I'm able to watch, and most of them I have. But there's some that I don't. They were. I'm really excited that I can actually watch the original Godzilla, King of the Monsters, or or Gojira because I've never seen that one before. I hear it's different than the others. Like there's no big monsters to fight, so Godzilla's just evil. Are you evil, Agent T? Okay. Uh. So, yes, uh, so there it is, Sky TV, I'm done, I gotta go take a shower, cause I'm, <coughs> okay then, uh, uh, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe, thank you for watching, I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one, say bye bye, Gajira. Looks like he's doing something else, <laughs> yeah.